Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Here's a quick start guide for using Pixelmator Pro on your Mac. So Pixelmator Pro is a popular image editing app that you can get in the App Store. You can actually use it to edit photos directly from the Photos app. So I have a photo here and I can go to Image and then down to Edit With and then I can select Pixelmator Pro. Then it'll launch Pixelmator Pro and allow me to edit the image. Alternatively, you can open any image file as well. You can drag and drop onto Pixelmator Pro or open from within or use Open With and select Pixelmator Pro. You're gonna see a variety of tools on the left, top, and right. All the way to the right are the main tools for working with your image. The third one down is for color adjustments. Select that and you have a variety of different sections here. I'm gonna turn on the basic set here where I can adjust things like exposure or brightness or texture. These sections also have an ML for machine learning button here, where it's gonna analyze the photo and make some automatic adjustments like that. You could simply turn off the ML or use the undo button here, or Command Z works in almost every situation. Further down, we've got other tools, for instance, hue and saturation. So I can super saturate the photo or make it more black and white. At the top here, you're going to see some presets. So you can select some like say the vintage ones here and apply a vintage set, which is going to make all sorts of different adjustments here to get that result. And again, Command Z to undo makes it really easy to try things, see what they look like and then go back. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts and more. Read about it right here. The next set of tools down are for effects. You can choose some presets here, but also add a single effect right here, like for instance, stylize, and I could use pointalize here. And usually there are further adjustments you can make with sliders and switches as well. There's also a repair tool. Select that, and then you could brush over any part of the image and it will attempt to use machine learning to repair it. So for instance, I get rid of this railing here, like that. You can also add things to the image. Notice a lot of these tools have this little pointer at the bottom right, if you click and hold the tool, then you have a variety of different options. So for instance, I can add shapes. I could also add a variety of other things, including a line shape. So if I were to draw a line like this, it adds a layer here. Pixelmator is like Photoshop in that it has different layers. For this line here, you see I can adjust all sorts of things about it. So let's go and put an arrow at the start and you could change the color if you like, and then you can move the points around for this arrow. For any layer here, you can go to the style settings and you could change things about it, like make it semi-transparent, for instance. Another thing you could add is text. Click on this tool here and then click in the image and you could add some text. I'm gonna double click in there and edit it like that. Then you could select all with Command A, you can adjust the size, you could change the font, you can change the color of the text. This also creates another layer and now you can go into style here and you could change things. Like for instance, I can add a shadow here and then change the settings for the shadow and then I can move the text around where I want. Another thing you may wanna do with an image is crop it. If you look at the tool at the very bottom, you could click that and select crop and now you enter cropping mode and you could grab the corners and then move the area around and then click apply. Now, since I opened this image up in Photos, if I go and save it, it actually saves it back to Photos. So now I've saved it and now I can close it right here. And now if I look back in Photos, there's the image edited in Pixelmator Pro. And since Photos always saves the original, you can go to edit here and revert to original at any time. So you can use Pixelmator Pro as a substitute for the editing tool inside of Photos. Of course, Pixelmator Pro has a ton of more things that you can do. But if you had originally opened a file and then you made some changes, added some layers, and you go to save, it's going to save it out as a PXD or Pixelmator Pro document. This will save all of the layers and adjustments that you made. If you now want this as a regular image that you can share or upload somewhere, you can go to export here, and then you can export in various different formats, you can choose the quality for say JPEGs and you can choose original size or scale it down. And then I could export it with a different name and save it out. So now you can see I've got the original file here, the Pixelmator Pro document and the new JPEG export. 
If I want to go back and edit it more, I can open up the Pixelmator Pro document and you can see the layers and settings are all there. And of course, there's a ton more that you can do on Pixelmator Pro. This is just to get you started. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.